Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. When COVID-19 hit a year ago, the Belmont Soccer Association decided to set aside some of their funds to help individuals and organizations in need. One recent fund recipient is a program supporting girls soccer in Haiti. Citizen journalist Kamako Akai Whitelaw reports on the growing connection between our two communities. The Belmont Soccer Association about a year ago decided to set aside some funds to use for philanthropic purposes. It's money that the Belmont Soccer Association has is with the intent of using it for for purposes typically and what we've used for in the past is for capital expenditure. Some of the things that people may be familiar with are uh, Joey's Park, the Winbrook Field Irrigation System, Grove Street Field Irrigation System. And when COVID hit, we decided it would be a good thing to do for the community to not restrict the use of those funds just to kind of infrastructure type projects. As part of the Belmont Soccer Association funds and process, we solicit requests from from any individuals who have an affiliation with Belmont Soccer. And so about a month ago, we were requested to fund a program in Haiti. Uh, specifically, it was for a women's soccer team in Haiti. For a little more context, we had typically in the past supported the Haiti project and that program by asking for people to donate old gear. So old cleats, old jerseys, um, old balls, and um, people have been very generous in donating and dropping those donations off, which they still can, by the way, go to Champion Sports on Leonard Street, Belmont, and donate, and those things will be provided to the, to the Haitian soccer program. I have been going to Haiti for many years, and about eight or nine years ago, I brought eight soccer balls from Belmont Soccer. And I was a coach, we had some extra balls and gave them to a bunch of the kids. Uh, and what I realized in that community is that the boys took all the balls and some men took the balls and the girls were interested, but they were just kind of on the sidelines. And we were hoping that this would be for girls and boys. We decided to try to start a soccer program for the, for the girl. And the head of Haiti Projects at that time, a, a woman named Molly Clareman, she had played soccer in college and she was really excited to get this program going. We started the program, not sure if there would be interest or not. And the, the young women just flocked to it. To, to understand the soccer program in Haiti for girls and young women, it's important to understand the lives they live. Haiti is the, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. They are in the rural part of Haiti, which is the most underserved part of Haiti. The girls are pulled into household chores that, that's to a degree that's unfathomable here in the United States. So their lives are, are, are all about work and chores. And if they're lucky, they get to go to school. They don't get to have much fun. It started with just a few teams and now it's blossomed to a, to a hundred, hundred girls and young women. The Belmont Soccer Association and the town of Belmont has been supporting Haiti Project's soccer program really since it began. But it's never been formal until this year when uh, a friend of mine, David Hamer, who's part of Belmont Soccer, let me know about a formal program to get support from the BSA. And I let BSA know what I was doing and applied for support. And um, the request was for us to support the provision of uniforms and um, a few other things that we thought were really good and beneficial uh, purposes for the fund to support, including education and um, even some um, provision of food. So Haiti Projects is really grateful. Uh, the women, the young girls, they really look forward to be able to continue to participate in our program. Haiti Projects is a small nonprofit organization uh, based in rural Haiti. So the focus is on women, just all about jobs, healthcare services, and education. The girls' soccer team started in 2013. So the point of girls' soccer team was really to have a space where young women and young girls can come together and play soccer. And when you practice every week, you get an opportunity to, you know, to be fed, 
um, drink water, um, enjoy your time with the other girls. One major change is, is the lack of pregnancy that we've, um, we've experienced since the girls started the program. We just wanted to make sure that these women know that they had options and that they could, should learn about their bodies because they just didn't know much about what was going on and how to take care of themselves. As you get more involved into it, you can be involved in the community. So maybe you want to intern with us at the library or you want to intern with us at the Artisan Women's Cooperative that we have, which is a drop an opportunity for them. So having those opportunities would lead them to further continued education. Um, it's a great opportunity to really teach people in the community about girls and what they can do and how important they are. Soccer is all about having fun. I just hope that they get to go out there and have fun and feel like somebody cares about them. So we, we care, we'd like to see them go out and play and we want people to achieve their potential. And if this is one step closer to that and it makes them feel like they're capable of, of things that they otherwise wouldn't have felt they're capable of, then that's a win for us and it's a win for everybody. 